because I feel like it's obvious, but in case it's not, sometimes pressure isn't physically uncomfortable, but you're still resisting it. Mm -hmm. I need to know if that happens. Okay. Or if it hurts, it hurts, it shouldn't, it shouldn't hurt. Mm -mm. Well, just okay, knowing the name yeah. of the playlist, I feel like this is a jazzy metal song <laughs> compared to normal metal. Ooh, nice nails. Thanks. Nice nails. Uh, so, <laughs> sorry, bitch, you can deal with this girliness for a minute. Oh, yeah, sister. Um, and a fiance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. These were obnoxiously advertised to me many times on Facebook. Are they color street? No. Yeah. They're gel. Oh. They're gel color they're like colors the equivalent of color street in a gel. Ooh, interesting. And so they press on like a gel and then you have to harden them under a light. I'm they're from South Korea, so I'm pretty sure I might end up with finger cancer later in life, but I don't care because I was happy with them. Finger cancer. That's okay. Well they're cute anyway. Thanks. So I got like five sets because the shipping was 15 bucks and I was like, well, I'm not going to pay $17 for a set of nails and then $15 for shipping and not get more than one. Right. And then there was this whole like kit that you're supposed to get with it that I didn't realize until after I had bought it where you're supposed to like, they're supposed to remove in a clean sheet. Yeah. You don't have to soak them in acetone. Like you put this little dropper of stuff on them and it peels right off that so that it doesn't sense. injure your nail. Yeah. And I didn't realize that until after I ordered it, so. Ah, nuts. So we'll see. The like remover kit was 30 bucks and I had to pay like 55 total because of the shipping and everything ah, and tax. Nice. You okay with this? Yeah. Well, I mean, I've never had pressure like this. like this strangely satisfying but the satisfying part comes when I let go of the pressure and you can actually breathe again I'm excited and I'm excited to see your nails because I didn't notice them <laughs> I was gonna say Emily I don't think I had to tell you this but you pressed record first right yes I did okay so you really <laughs> double think it yeah I... yes it's funny I just tried to heat down, that's all. It was blasting straight on me. <laughs> and then those lights on top of it. Yeah, that already feels like I can experiment more on the left side. record every single second of this, I'm probably going to be just fine. Why is it not something on the table? Like, like... So just imagine if this was all a horn. That'd be jazz. Just a little yeah. faster. This one, this one feels pretty jazzy. Is that the same one? I didn't know what yeah. you were doing, but I feel it's starting to release. <laughs> Yeah. 
side of it. Now, as far as you want to, it doesn't have to be very far, turn your nose without lifting your head to the right. Oh, <laughs> not very far at all. Wow. Stretch out that platysma. You can kind of bounce it if you want to, in and out of it. You can find the spot and then add nose up and down. I already know extension is going to suck. Oh! <laughs> New bridge. Yep. Where are they playing at? The Fox. Ooh, when? I think so too. After Christmas. Okay. I think that would be a way cooler work event. I think so. Wait, after Christmas? I think so. I think these two, those two are going to be gone. Oh, yeah. Like right after Christmas? I don't know. We'll have to look it up. Yeah. I think I'm going to head up to Arizona for Christmas. Ooh. Yeah. I am to you. Oh, okay. Tolerable, but it found a spot. Yes, Redis. Oh, it's not him. No, it's the pedal, and sometimes I step on it, and it and moves don't the know table, there. and it scares the piss out of me. starts getting real tingly and weird. Yeah, I was, I was waiting for it. Not too bad. I mean, it's more tender um, on the lateral aspect. If I get real pinpoint with it? Mm -hmm. Like right there I can feel it more, but it's super tolerable. Where did your paw? I'm sorry. today, so if you feel gurgles, that's why. Okay. Let me see the pulse. <laughs> it tells you how empty my stomach is. See that aortic thump? Yeah, I had a 
good idea of a CNN in action and then obviously receiving it. It's totally different. Yes. It it's is. hard to describe this to people. I'm gonna push on you. And then I'm gonna ask you to think about stuff. Mm -hmm. And then weird things are gonna happen and you're gonna be like, oh my god. It's really bad. So, what you're pressing right now is giving me a similar symptom that I feel when I know I'm getting less blood flow down here. Just... Let's see. Okay. Yeah, it's like it's like a feeling. Yeah, 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 it's like a feeling. from the top of your head because you have more space this way than you do this way now. Seeing it from the aerial view? Mm -hmm. Is that a shot you want to do with the camera? I don't know that it's going to make sense to people. Yeah. That's one of those nuanced things that... I definitely feel it. If I had to describe it, I feel like a, a lopsided eight where one or the bottom side that's fatter is my left side. I don't know if that makes sense. But one side feels like it's getting more expansion than the other. Bring your knees up to your feet or flat. I already can tell this is going to do something. Give me the smallest little posterior tilt. So pressing into your feet, not using your muscles, but your bones shifting, yeah. change it may not change it might not be anything different i don't know if it's from just the hands-on contact but i feel more on the posterior side okay. i mean i don't feel anything on the right side posteriorly than i do on the left yeah so. this is one of my favorite bands but it's unfortunate all the kids are not I think they're all under the age of 23. Oh, yeah, big time douche. And they're rich. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And they have face tattoos. Oh. I think that just Make explains it, it all. Mm -hmm. The guitar, the guitarist in this band is like a virtuoso. Yeah, so I wasn't expecting this, I feel more tight Does it? when you're going through it. I don't know if that's going to go right in your way. <laughs> Turn your head to the left.
You can tell I'm resisting you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, every time I think about it, I'm like, relax that arm. So, open, turn your arm up towards the ceiling. Yeah, and now start opening it up to the side. Turn your head to the left. And now breathe in a way where you're trying to push my hands off of you. Good. Exhale fully. <laughs> Bring your head back. And your arm can come down. Next one's not nice. Okay. I mean, it shouldn't be the worst thing you've ever had done. I'm far nicer about most of these than a lot of chiros are. So, <laughs> take, take this hand onto your collarbone. It's your opposite, yeah. Let your elbow drop down over mine. Okay. Push your fingers towards the table. This one? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. That hits an iron button. And then release. This is kind of an arm workout. <laughs> what is he eating? Yeah, that antler. <laughs> At the risk of feeling like it's inappropriate. It sounds like he's deep throating that thing. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, little elbow up. So push your fingers into your collarbone and then a little elbow up towards your nose. Good, bring it back down. Good, let your arm come back down. Hi. It's a nice little fan. <laughs> Are you getting warm? No, oh. I'm just fine. I was like, oh, that breeze kind of feels nice when it's there. Okay. Okay. Good. It's getting easier to keep it relaxed, but I still feel it wanting to tense. Basically this, which I'm sure. All right. Assessing, are you looking for obviously joint motion, but tissue quality and sensibility? Yes. So, like, you have a hard time supinating. Okay. At your elbow. And your thumb has a tendency to hold inward, which is probably. I think that's where I feel all the tension right now. Okay. Thumb. Such like a relief when you stopped. 
<laughs> Not that it hurt like super bad, but. <laughs> like after you released it, I felt it just all on my palm, some side. Like blood finally came back to it? Mm -hmm. Before we had science to make sense of exactly what we were doing, it makes, it makes sense when they talk about like, rolfing is reinvigorating the tissue. Because mm -hmm. that's what it feels like when you let go of it, you're like, oh, that's got more energy now. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and the intention behind it's a, a healing frequency that you're giving off too, right? Right. Probably harder to prove science wise, but... But I wonder if we could, like, if there was uh, somebody who had, like, a biofeedback EMG. Yeah. If they could prove that, like... So I was talking to Matt about this the other day. This is significantly tighter than the other side. Yeah, it is. We were talking about regulating nervous systems. Mm -hmm. And how this is likely part of the reason that this work works is because you have one person with a regulated nervous system working with somebody who's dysregulated. We well, hope so. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are days, there are days. That's true. I mean, it's contagious plus they're feeling it too, right? So him and I talked about one of the reasons that people, why rolling doesn't work is it's not enough if they're too dysregulated, like Christine Fedor. Once every other week or once a week isn't enough to regulate them. That's a good point. Well, oh, they're, they're, they get such dysregulation from their everyday life. Yeah, that this isn't frequent enough. And so we were talking about the missing piece of my practice is consistent group regulation. Like just having group classes where people can work on regulating their systems and doing mindful movement just to bring about calmness. Come in. Yeah. Like, doesn't that sound good? Yeah. Plus, it gives them something since they're building awareness. Yeah, something I to mean, use it on. Better than movement, you know? Yep. So now with AFS closing, I think that's going to be one of my bigger focuses is how do I create that in the office here with like a group class. And it would be like five or ten bucks, something super cheap, but if there's ten people, mm -hmm. then it makes enough money that it's my hourly rate. Yeah, that's why I still don't know what we're going to do with uh, the little county make conference space. Yeah, I know. I want it. If it wasn't well, we talked about it. What was that? September? August, yeah. September. I don't... It was more of we knew we could have it, but why? We, well, affording it. It's seven fifty a month. Yeah, there's got to be enough. All right, so we're going to slide you down here. I think him and I are on the same page that... Extend. Just having... Um, a bigger rehab space doesn't make sense. Right. Like if that was the only Push use up. for it. Perfect, huh? Well, and the, the caveat with with that, with it turning into a rehab space, you guys, I would have to teach in hours that you're not working, which that's going to be really difficult to do. That's going to put really awkward hours on it. So it would either mean that you guys can't use it certain hours. Is 
not expecting to be this tight on this right side. Actually, I thought it would be more on the left side. Well, at least from a sensitivity. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Subscapularis. Oh my goodness. I don't think that's been touched in years. Yeah, well, most people don't enjoy it. The big thing I noticed is when we started, I feel like I was more externally rotated. Like it was harder for me to relax and keep it the same as it was on this side. I don't notice that. Or I noticed it's more equal now. So before I was like right here and a half. Yeah. Pro Take a deep breath when you're ready. I mean, it's guiding into my chest. I'm not used to that. Yeah, that's different. Still, but nope. Go this way. I think the problem with that being a rehab space is there's not enough people willing to pay a high enough price for personal training or for rehab-based training out of pocket to make it financially worth it. I don't think that market is there. Yeah, I agree. Well, I didn't mention this, and it's funny that you brought up Adam yesterday. But I, I didn't bring this up, but last week, RJ was saying, was talking to him about how he might be interested in having someone doing training in here. I think it's a terrible idea. Yes. <laughs> I did not bring it up. He's like, why did I bring that up? And I was like, I don't know. He said that this week, I saw the yesterday, and he, after he had time to think about it, he was interested. And I was like, it was fun to talk this one off. Well, I think having any trainer in here is a bad idea. I can see the functionality of it. I just don't think it will generate enough revenue to ever be worth it. Well, functionality, I think it's more of an adjunct we could provide if there is space for it. So where no one's stepping on each other's toes. Well. But I still think more of a rehab specialist would be better than a trainer. That's what, that's what I mean is trainers are a dime a dozen. It's gonna be hard to convince somebody to pay, what, 100 bucks an hour for training? Because we're going to have to charge so exorbitantly so that the trainer is getting paid a decent amount and so that there's enough profit generated from it in order to be useful. I don't think that's realistic. Would they be an employee or a contract? It doesn't matter. Okay. I mean, in either case, I think the threshold is so, like, that's going to be such a difficult threshold to create. I mean, when I looked at, like, okay, how much could I charge for a Pilates session? Per person, how many people would I need in order to make an income myself, but then also pay for the space? Mm -hmm. Not worth it. I'd rather stay at home where there's low revenue or low overhead. overhead yeah. All right, I'm gonna have you move to standing. You can pause it if you want for that part. Okay. Yep. 